If you know Joyce, you know that she's easygoing, very thoughtful, and has a gentle soul. No matter where life took me, she was always there. Our friendship stood the test of time, distance, and well, kids. And if you don't already know, she's also the queen of crafts. I mean, look around you. She pretty much single-handedly pieced together all the beautiful details that you see before you today. Our bride is simply amazing. She truly deserves everything and more. And this is where Michael comes in. Everything he did had to be very methodical. Analyze everything. The most important thing, it just had to feel right for him. And then you came along, Joyce. I knew you were the right person for this guy. I knew right then and there that he would finally come to that moment and say this, all of this, you. Now this feels right. May we all be of one heart, of one soul, and one united in the holy bond of truth, peace, and charity as we unite in marriage, Michael and Joyce. From the beginning of historical records, weddings have been held as joyous family events. But weddings are more than a social gathering. They are the sealed covenant between families and a historical event to look back upon in the years to come. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. For after today, you shall say, this is my wife. And you shall say, this is my husband, the single most important person in the world to me. Now your involvement with each other has led to a decision to join your lives together in marriage. You've been making commitments to each other in an informal way. All those conversations that were held in a car, or over an ice cream cone, or during long walks, or after a hard day's work, all these common things and more, they are the real process of a wedding. I pronounce that they are now husband and wife together. Those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. You may now kiss your bride.